What's up guys, welcome to my video. So today we're talking all about PvP gear in Battle for Azeroth. And in this short video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to acquire PvP gear once the new season starts. So let's go ahead and get started guys. The very first way you're going to get PvP gear is definitely going to be through arenas. And the reason being is that the gearing system has changed a little bit. So in arenas, whenever you win a match there's always a chance for a piece of gear to drop and based on all the research that I've done and all the testing I've done on the uh, beta um, the random gear drop is going to be about 325 item level now the other really cool thing that Blizzard has done is that uh, that in regarding elite PvP gear so if you guys remember in Legion you needed a 2k rating in order to start obtaining elite PvP gear but that has actually changed in BFA and now you can actually get elite uh, PvP gear starting at 1400 rating. So this elite gear more than likely is going to be on par with like LFR gear which is like 340 item level. But Blizzard already stated that it will scale up as your rating increases. So there's a really good chance that you can actually gear up a fresh tune just by doing arenas um, and I think that's really really awesome so to give an example of how the system will work guys is that at 1400 rating you'll probably get like your bracers and your belt at 1500 rating you'll get like your uh, boots and gloves 1600 rating maybe your pants and your helm uh, just to give an example guys and I think that really means that if you're maybe somebody who is a PvP only you can actually gear up pretty quickly uh, just by doing arenas and like I said this gear is more than likely going to be 340 item level with the possibility of a titan forging and of course increasing uh, as your rating increases as well alright guys moving on uh, the next way to get PvP gear is by uh, capping out your conquest points every week. Uh, when you do this you're going to be rewarded with a 340 item level piece of gear and the gear actually will uh, change from week to week so probably the first week you're going to get like a weapon and then next week you might get uh, like gloves and then the following week you know shoulders etc etc and the way you cap your conquest points guys is pretty much anything that's PP related you know whether it's random battlegrounds uh, doing arenas doing rated battlegrounds or world pvp there's going to be multiple ways to cap your conquest points every week all right guys next we're talking about the weekly pvp chest this is another way to get pvp gear and to gear up in battle for azeroth uh, i really really like this concept guys so basically the weekly chest works the same way as in mythic plus dungeons except uh, in pvp it's going to go off your either arena rating or your rated battleground rating whichever is higher so for example last week if I got 1400 arena rating then there's a good chance that I'm gonna get a 340 item level piece of gear in my chest but uh, the higher your arena rating the better the reward that you're gonna get in your weekly chest so it's really important that the first week you try to push your rating as high as you possibly can alright guys so now we're talking about war friends and this is yet another way to gear up uh, quickly in PvP and also to get PvP gear. So Warfronts, once they open up, um, you're going to be able to obtain a quest from this NPC right here. And he's going to give you, uh, basically reward you with a nice amount of Azerite power as well as a 370 item level piece of gear. Really, really nice. But not only that guys, when you win the Warfront, you also get a piece of gear as well. And then after the Warfront has ended, there's going to be another NPC that pops up that's going to give you a bunch of quests, one of them which rewards you with yet more gear. And then if that wasn't enough, uh, in the Warfront or, uh, yeah, in the Warfront itself, there's going to be a world boss that also drops a piece of gear as well, if you're lucky. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative. And if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, share. I definitely will appreciate it. Also, um, if you have any questions whatsoever about today's video, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll check them out. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.